Hi guys, Assalamualaikum So So before this we have studied about matching Now we want to uh, We want to study about marriage and marriage theorem Okay What is marriage Marriage and marriage theorem Okay I think you have uh, When you are small You always play With your friends You always match the other people Like Uh Like you said that, oh, Ali, you, I match to marry Tina. And I match uh, Abu with this girl named Lily. This is uh, the example. So, that is matching. Alright? I know that you always do this when you are small, isn't it? Alright. Okay, so what is marriage and marriage theorem? Okay, so we have Hall's marriage theorem. So today, this is our topic that we are going to study today in Hall's marriage theorem. Okay, you can see the uh, reference books, uh, Wilson. All right, Wilson, page page what page here mm, page 128 all right okay so what is Hall's marriage theorem the marriage theorem proved in 1935 by philip hall okay it solved the marriage problem okay what is the problem actually okay the problem is If there is a finite set of girls, which of whom who knows several boys, under what conditions can all the girls marry boys in such a way that each girl marries a boy that she knows? Okay, that is the problem. So they want to solve the marriage problem. Is we want to solve the problem where the girls want to marry with several boys that she knows so um we want to find what conditions all right for example if there is four girls okay there is that is g1 g2 g3 and g4 or you can name it as uh, g1 is you can name it as what girls that you like Example, oh, I thought I like Siti, I like Nilofa, I like um, who's uh, Mariam, I like um, Aisha. That is the example. And and there are five boys. Okay, there are five boys in that group. That will be mishmash with these four girls. So, so girls, you can name it the five boys that you knows. Okay, maybe you know, uh, Amir. Maybe you can name it as uh, whose boys do you know? <laughs> okay, maybe you want it as Alif, or maybe known as. Um, Tom Chris, maybe name as Ahmad, or maybe name as Latif. Okay, and the friendship are shown below. So these girls have this friendship. So this are uh, shown. So the shown here is so show that G one. We want to find G one. Girl G1, G2, G3, and G4. Boys known by girls. Okay. Okay. This uh, table show that G1 only known B1, B4, and B5. Whereas G2 only known B1. So G2 didn't know B4 and B5. And G3 known b2 b3 and b5 also known by b5 also known by g1 
And G for note. The boys B2 and B4. So we want to find a possible solution. G1 to marry whom? Maybe B4 or B1 or B5. Okay. Okay. So we want to find the possible uh, of the girl to marry. Alright. So what we can do? So from here we can draw the graph. Okay, how we want to draw the graph? So let's say this is G1, G2, G3 and G4. So from this table you can draw the graph and then you have graph of B1 Okay, B2, B3, B4, and B5. Okay, so what we can do is, okay, G1. Okay, you see here, G1, okay, G1 is... Um, Okay, G1 known B1 and B4 and B5. Okay, you can draw like this. And G2 known B1. And G3 known B2 and B3 and B4. Okay. And G4 known, G4 known B2, B4. Okay, so you get this graph. Okay, it's cute already. Yeah, so it's very nice. Okay, the mathematics is so nice. From the table, you can draw the graph. Okay, now... You want to find what is the possible solution for G1 to marry B, B4 or B3 or B5. Okay, let's say, okay, let's say if G1 marry B1. Okay, if G1 marry B1, so here it's only one to one functions, remember? One to one function. We when we do matching, we do the one to one. Means that if G one marry to B one, G two cannot marry to B one. Okay, so means that G one G two then no partner already, and G three. If let's say G three marry to B three, so. Who also like B3? G4. G4 cannot... Oh, no. Okay, only G3 marry B3. So, okay. So, nobody want B3. Only G3. Okay, let it be lah. Okay. Now, G4. If G4 have two choice, whether she can marry B2 or B5. Let's say we take B4. So, here, so we found that G2 has, cannot marry B2. G2 cannot marry B2 because G2 didn't know B2. And G2 also cannot marry B5 because G2 didn't know B5. Okay? So, if you do like this, means that uh, there is... Uh, one girl cannot be married and there is two boys cannot be married. So, how how we want to solve the possible solution that G, uh, G1 can, all the girls can be married. And firstly, you have to see who have the only one partner. If you see here, 
G2 only have only one partner. So, you must uh, marry G2 with B1 only. If the other state B1, G2 cannot be married. Okay. So, what can we do is. Okay. Okay, what can we do is first. We, okay, we mismatch, okay, we match G2 with B, B2, okay, so that when we match G2 with B2, so G1 have the others, can be married others, whether G5 or G4, okay, if G1 marry G4 So G4 cannot marry B4 G4 only can marry B2 Okay And G3 cannot marry to B2 So G3 have a choice either B3 or B4 So G3 cannot choose B4 Because B4 have married to G1 So G Three will be married to B3. So if you see here, only B4 don't have a partner. Okay. So this is the matching. Okay. Okay. So this uh is matching for Hall's theorem. So we generally a complete. Complete matching. Okay, what is a complete matching? Complete matching from V1 to V2 is a bipartite. In a bipartite, G, V1, V2 is one to one correspondent between the vertices in V1 and some of the vertices in V2. Okay, one to one. So, complete matching if uh, if you remember, complete matching is perfect matching. So every vertex have uh, saturated. Okay. All right. Okay. So we want to find. Uh, we continue with Hall's theorem just now. So theorem six point one said. A necessary and sufficient condition for a solution of a marriage problem is that each of the set of girls collective knows at least K boys for K must be less than M but must greater than than 1. Okay? That is Hall's theorem. Okay, so... Look at exercise. You try exercise 6.1. Okay. Please try this exercise and send it for me today in the our attendant list. Okay. Hopes you can understand the Hall's theorem and marriage theorem. Okay. So this all for today's. If you have a if you can understand these topics and the, if you like uh, the topics you um, have studied today and you like this video, please subscribe the videos. Okay, subscribe the channel. Okay, see you and hopes that you're always in good of health and stay at home.